गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल अकेडमिया अम्बाला दिस इज योर कंप्यूटर पीरियड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद लेसन नंबर फाइव दैट इज वन विद एम एस पेंट चिल्ड्रन इन दिस चैप्टर विल बी कवरिंग द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स एम एस पेंट एम एस पेंट विंडो ऑप्शन इन द होम टैब ऑप्शन इन द व्यू टैब कलर पैलेट tools in paint resize and skew flip and rotate zoom in and zoom out copy and paste cut and paste crop image saving image hello friends do you remember what we had learned in class 2 about ms paint i hope by now you must have become experts in drawing shapes and figures so now let us learn more about the special features in ms paint ms paint to draw on a paper you need pencil rubber scale and colors to draw on a computer you need ms paint paint helps you to draw objects on a computer ms paint is a program that is used to create shapes and drawings to draw shapes and figures you can use different tools like line tool curve tool polygon tool rectangle tool oval tool pencil tool etc available in ms paint starting ms paint Follow these steps to open MS Paint. Point number one: Click on Start button. Point number two: Click on All Programs. Point number three: Click on Accessories. Point number four: Click on Paint. The MS Paint program will appear on your computer screen. MS Paint window. After you open MS Paint, you will see. that the interface is much more modified than the older versions of paint now all the toolbars are on the top side of the window you can see uh, the different tools toolbars on the uh, following picture paint button quick access toolbar tabs color palette quick access toolbar On the title bar there is a quick access toolbar with some of the most important buttons save undo and redo paint button under the quick access toolbar there is a main toolbar the first button on the left side is the paint button which opens up the main menu of ms paint tabs Home and View are the two tabs in the MS Paint program. In the Home tab, you will get all the main image editing tools that you will work with. In the View tab, you can zoom in, out or see the images in full screen mode. You can also select to show rulers and grid lines on an image which helps you to align elements in the image options in the home tab in this home tab you will find many of the new options and features introduced by ms paint this is the toolbar this is the ribbon on which many options are there so children you just try to learn all the options paint cut copy selection crop resize and skew pencil fill with color text brushes different shapes shapes outline shapes and fill size foreground color background color edit color rotate and flip eraser color picker magnifier color palette 
options in the view tab in the view tab you will find many options and features as shown in the picture zoom in zoom out 100% fit grid lines full screen thumbnail status bar color palette color palette is a part of the home tab it is used to select the color you want to work with foreground color or active color and background color color one box is the foreground color or active color when you open ms paint the default active color is black color two box in the is the background color when you open ms paint the default background color is white to change a color make sure that its color box is in focus as shown by the yellow background if it is not simply click on it and then in the palette click on the color that you want tools in paint before moving ahead let us revise a little about what you have learned so far pencil tool you can draw straight wavy and curved line with pencil tool eraser tool you can rub the drawing by using eraser tool brush tool it is used to draw free hand lines of different styles line tool you can draw lines of different thickness with line tool rectangle tool you can draw boxes and squares with different borders by using rectangle tool oval tool you can draw circles and oval shapes by using the oval tool rounded rectangle tool you can draw rounded rectangles with this tool polygon tool you can draw triangle or other shapes with this tool curve tool you can draw curves with this tool text tool you can write in paint with the help of text tool using select option this option is used to select a part or whole drawing after selecting the drawing you can move it from one place to another in paint window click on home tab click on the down arrow of select click on rectangular selection click and hold the left button and drag the mouse diagonally to select the object release the mouse button the dotted rectangle shape shows that the object has been selected click on the selection and then drag the mouse to move the selection to another area release the mouse button the object will appear in the new location resize and skew resize command is used to change the size of the drawing by making it smaller or bigger skew skew command is also used to resize the drawing either vertically horizontally or both so that it appears slanted resizing an image click on home tab click on select select the image by dragging the mouse over it click on resize resize and skew dialog box appears select the maintain aspect ratio checkbox select the ratio button radio button of pixels type the horizontal value width or vertical value height click on okay the new size of the image appears skewing an image click on home tab click on select select the image by dragging the mouse over it click on resize resize and skew dialog box appears type the amount of skew in the horizontal and vertical boxes click on okay the skewed image appears like this flip and rotate the other feature that ms paint provides is flip 
and rotate flip will create a mirror image of the picture either horizontally or vertically rotate will change the position of the picture from different angles click on home tab click on select select the image by dragging the mouse over it click on rotate rotate and flip options appears click on rotation direction you want or you can click on flip option now in this picture you can see the original picture and the rotated picture the first example is of rotates in this example this image rotates 90% left 90 degree left in the second picture the original and the flip image in this example the image flips horizontally zoom in and zoom out the zoom tool is used to get the bigger and closer view of the image you can use zoom in and zoom out features to see a large or smaller view of your image click on view tab click on the following options click on zoom in to increase the zoom level click on zoom out to reduce the zoom level click on 100% to see the actual size of the image the image appears according to the option you have selected in this example we have chosen zoom in option copy and paste copy paste is used to copy the image from one place to paste it to another place you can save your time by copy and paste image instead of drawing it again and again click on home tab click on select select the image click on copy or the shortcut key control plus c click on paste or the shortcut key control plus v the image will appear in the drawing area now place the mouse pointer on the selected image and drag it to the to anywhere in the drawing area cut and paste cut paste is used to erase the drawing from the place where it has been cut and paste it to another place in your drawing area click on home tab click on select select the image click on cut or the shortcut key control x the image will appear disappear from the paint window now open the drawing area where you want to place the image click on paste or the shortcut key control plus v the image will appear in the drawing area crop image crop feature of paint lets you to see the part of the image you have selected after cropping only selected part of the image is visible click on home tab click on select select the part of the image you want to see and click on the crop only the selected part of the image appears saving image while drawing your image you must save it side by side for future use follow these steps to save your drawing click on paint button paint menu will appear click on save option or the shortcut key control plus s the save as dialog box appears type the name of the image in file name text box click on save button to save your image children so in this chapter we have learned uh, we have revised the topics which we have covered in the previous classes and we have also learned some new things so children please see this video two times and try to learn all these things thank you and have a nice day